ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today in front of you we're going to be taking out a very historical and classical brand called Simier. And they're actually a brand from Switzerland. They've been around since 1924. And I believe they have, um, they're under the wing of CUNA and they did a collaboration for Manchester, as you can see here, for Manchester City Football, uh, which is soccer, if you didn't know, in the United States. And this is kind of a limited edition watch. So it actually is a limited edition. And it's for sale via QNet. I will drop a link in the description below. I think it's a pretty cool watch. Uh, it's very well made. I've been testing it out for a couple of weeks. And I really do like it. Keeps great time. The quality is very good uh, so far. And we'll get a little more into it. First, I want to go through uh, some... Obviously, you can see they sent me the Simier gloves. Swiss watches. Simier. As you can see here, which is pretty cool. I usually don't wear gloves in my videos, but uh, today I'm going to use them. Um, but yeah, I have a little magazine here. I'm going to show you the box, and then we'll dig right into this watch here. And yes, the current CEO is Alexandra Lanz of Montre Simier, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, um, a little letter from her as well. It's just a very cool pamphlet of their whole modern collection. Um, they also do have some ambassadors, I believe. As you can see, there's a lot of models in here wearing their watches. And um, yeah, they have a watch academy as well, which is pretty cool. So you basically can go to Switzerland and go to their watchmaking academy where they can teach you basically basic skills about watchmaking. I think that's pretty cool. They're doing something for watchmaking. I don't know of any other brands that actually do that. And yeah, just a bunch of cool stuff. I thought it was a nice magazine that they sent along with the watch. The Simier Manchester City QNet Edition comes in this kind of circular cardboard box, um, which is pretty simple. Um, I'm not a huge box guy. I don't really, you know, uh, hoard the, the boxes. I do keep them in case I have to sell it in the future. Um, but you open the box. As you can see, you get your international warranty. And let me just take this glove off. So inside here, you do get your scan this QR code to download the manual. I'm sure most of you guys know how to use it. You get your international warranty as well. And you can see this warranty um, is actually filled out. And it does guarantee the watch for three years from the date of purchase. So that's a very good warranty. Three year warranty from Montre, Montre Simier. Uh, it does come with a nice polishing cloth in here as well, uh, which is very nice. You get a Simier polishing cloth. Yeah, pretty simple packaging, not too crazy. I think it's sufficient. The watch does come on a rather nice pillow, I must say. Decent quality pillow. Um, but yeah, let's get into the watch now. Now, getting into some basic specifications. The watch is uh, so is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. It has a black PVD coating all around the case, as you can see. Going down from the sides, besides the crown. Um, we'll take a look at the case back in a minute. Uh, the watch is 44 millimeters in diameter. Obviously, it was meant to resemble soccer. So as you can see, the shape of the watch kind of reminds me of soccer, a soccer ball, a stadium. Um, it definitely reminds me of soccer. So I think they got it right uh, with that, as well as the colors of Manchester City, which is one of the best uh, football teams in the world. Um, I like Manchester City. I do, they're not my favorite team. I'm not going to get into all this, that kind of crazy <laughs> stuff. But yeah, they're a good team, of course. Um, so if you're definitely a Manchester City fan, it's kind of very hard to find a Manchester City watch. And this is an official watch, meaning it's official, it's licensed, they have the licensing rights to produce this watch with this logo. So it's not like a fake, you know, Manchester City watch, just says Manchester City from whatever brand. Anyway, it's 44 millimeters in diameter. It's about 51 I measured. It has an integrated rubber strap, as you can see. So it's gonna wear a bit smaller than the dimensions suggest. Does not really wear like a 44 millimeter watch. Case thickness top to bottom, you're looking at 10.8 millimeters, which is very thin. Uh, really is very thin. We do get a sapphire crystal on the front with anti reflective coating. We get a sapphire case back as well, which uh, shows the movement through it. So you get an exhibition case back. Um, getting a little closer at this dial, very interesting, very legible, very easy to read. Um, you kind of have those nice little squares going all around the dial which are very nice kind of kind of like what ap does but they do it on a much higher level obviously you're paying like fifteen thousand dollars minimum for an ap not even nowadays probably 20. um but yeah i think it looks pretty good if i get you in really close here everything is very neat qnet is printed manchester city in blue simier is applied and polished we get polished indices with loom plots 
in the center of them with some green superluminova. We also do get automatic and Swiss made at the six o'clock position. Now taking a look at these screws going, going around the dial, they're all evenly aligned. Um, something I you know, take note to, and they took the time to actually align the screws. So you can see to each angle of the watch, the screw is perfectly aligned. So definitely some good quality control. Um, you know, that's some brands get it right, some don't. Obviously on something like an Audemars Piguet, you're going to see the screws perfectly aligned. And if they're not, I would definitely take that back to the store. <laughs> anyway, um, what's inside of this watch? Uh, inside this watch is beating the SW200-1, Salida SW200. It's a Swiss automatic caliber. Most of you guys are familiar with this movement. It has 26 joules, about a 38-hour power reserve. It beats at 4 hertz, or 28,800 beats per hour. It's relatively accurate. This is not a COSC certified watch or chronometer certified, but this one is running about plus seven seconds per day, which is perfectly good in my book. I have no issue with that. I think it's running great, and I've been testing it for a while, so it's definitely running plus seven seconds per day. Now this watch has a nice, very nice and grippable screw down crown. We get 100 meters of water resistance on this timepiece, which I really approve of. You know, a lot of times when I'm going you know, looking at a watch I want to buy, if it has 50 meters, I'm eh, not so sure, you know. Because what if I kind of want to go swimming with it? What if I want to take it in the shower? You know, I forget it's on my wrist, I go in the shower, oh my god. You know, I feel safe with 100 meters as a screw down crown and a screw down case back this model. And the crown is in stainless steel, signed with the Simier logo, as you can see here, engraved very nicely. You also do get very good grip on the crown. It's very easy to unscrew, and there's a very nice solid pop, as you can see there. Very nice. Uh, first position of the SW200, obviously we can manually wind the watch. And then you get your second position, which we do have a matching quick set date wheel. And everything lines up very nicely. Final position is hacking. And as you can see there, the seconds hand has halted. Very nice blue, long, thin seconds hand. We also get loomed long kind of uh, pointed sword hands, uh, which are very nice. Let me focus back in here, then you can set the time. There is some nice resistance here, so you do get a nice time set. You can definitely set it perfectly uh, exactly where you want it to. Push that and screw this back down. And you're all good to go. Very simple movement, very robust, very accurate. A movement that's gonna last two years. These you can service every five or six, seven years. Um, some may even go longer. Obviously, you know, every five or 10 years, you definitely do want to service. 10 is like a max. I'd probably push it to eight. Um, but yeah, every five years or so, it's good to get a service on your movement, especially a Swiss automatic caliber. Now, this watch is equipped with a butterfly dual button um, clasp here with perlage work on the black PVD, as you can see there. The rubber is also stitched in blue for the Manchester City colors. You get a black PVD signed buckle here, which you can self-adjust to fit to your wrist, which is very easy to do. So no, no need to worry about sizing. This is a integrated bracelet, meaning you will not be able to change this out to any random strap you want. So, I mean, you're gonna get a good fit with this. You know, it's going up and down, but you know, if you're not gonna be able to get a perfect fit, maybe that's something you might wanna take a look at. Um, but anyway, the case back, it's screwed down in that black PVD. We get a SW200 through the Sapphire case back. You can see they did inscribe their, uh, their logo on the rotor there, the Simye logo, uh, which is pretty simple, pretty nice. Um, yeah, no issues with that whatsoever. The clasp is pretty sturdy as well. Um, it's, it's not coming loose. It also stays very thin. Um, it's not going to bulge on your wrist. You get two keepers here. One is stationary and one is floating. This goes in here and this hangs on right there and you're all good to go. So yeah, I think it's a pretty decent looking watch. I like the feeling of it. As you can see, the black PVD is polished on the edges of the bezel. It's brushed on the top. It is brushed on the sides of the case as well. No sharp edges over here or anything like that. I can see or feel with my eyes or hands. So it seems like a pretty decently cut case. Um, yeah, nice polishing over here. Screws are polished, of course, and the logo is polished. I think the polishing uh, matches nicely from the crown to the logo. Then you get the polishing of the black PVD on the side. Everything kind of matches up very nicely. And then we also have that blue which is matching the blue ring on the dial, as well as the second hand and the logo of Manchester City. 
Anyway, there's actually loom on this watch. Um, you know, this is not a dive watch, but it is one capable of going in the pool, of course. It has 100 meters. You can take it in the shower in the pool. You should be okay. Or you will be okay. Anyway, let's get the torch. Let's loom it up and see what kind of loom it has. And there we go for a loom shot. Now, there's not much loom applied. I mean, they can because the, the, the applied markers are not that huge due to the design. But the loom is actually pretty good. Very legible at night. You have loom on the hands and all the applied markers. And it's definitely very legible. It lasts a pretty long time. I think it's good enough for a style of watch like this. And I think it actually looks pretty cool. So I think the loom is pretty decent. On my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can blatantly see here, the watch does fit very nicely. It curves down. From the side, it almost disappears, which is really nice because it's only 10.8 millimeters thick. It's a very comfortable watch. It's one that you can wear all day without even noticing. It does have a, I wouldn't say a heavy weight to it, um, not a lightweight either, but it's just the perfect weight. It's on the rubber band. Obviously, it's going to be a bit lighter than a watch on a bracelet, but it's a very high quality, genuine rubber band. And then it has that stitching as well. It has a nice texture here going down the center. And the clasp just stays out of the way of things. It doesn't bulge out or uh, dig into your wrist. Uh, it's a very nice clasp. They did the band very nicely. But as you can see across my wrist there, it fits just fine. So a very nice fit on my wrist. Furthermore, guys, I think it's a really nice watch, especially if you're a fan of Manchester City. Um, you might be paying a premium for the Manchester City. I'm not sure about that. Um, but it's definitely, I would say, like an entry-level kind of luxury watch. Simye is a brand that produces a very, you know, array of nice watches, I must say. If you check out their catalog and website, uh, they have some really, really nice watches. Watches that don't look like watches from any other brand. And, um, yeah, they have some very interesting designs. I would love to check one out in the future. I think they're doing a pretty good job at reviving their company. Uh, you know, a lot of their vintage watches are actually really cool if you check them out on eBay. I was doing that uh, yesterday. Um, they have a lot of really, really cool designs uh, from the past. Maybe they can probably bring some of those back. And I think that would really spark the whole Simier brand again even more. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of football and you like a kind of sports watch with 100 meters, sapphire crystal, Swiss made, automatic caliber, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. The quality is definitely there, down from the band, the case finish and cut, the cut of the sapphire crystal and the case, and the overall feel of the watch. It feels like a very well-made Swiss watch. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, obviously it's not going to be for everybody. Obviously, if you're not a fan of Manchester City, you're not going to want this watch, right? Um, but yeah, if you're definitely a fan of Manchester City and soccer and you like this whole kind of sporty theme, because Simier does make a lot of classical watches, kind of very dressy watches, I'd say, and um, different styles of watches. But anyway, I think it's a great watch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Simier Manchester City QNet Special Limited Edition Watch. I will see you guys on the next one. Definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you can. It does help out a lot. All right, guys. Bye.